Hi everyone. I thought what I would do is walk you through the daily lessons that I send you by email. Um, I've had a number of parents who've asked me sort of to do that um, because with the emails what it does is it keeps your child to the routine that they would have in the classroom. Um, and of course there's no expectation that you do everything in the email that I send you or even any of it. Um, but if you are picking and choosing from it, I think uh, some of the parents didn't realize that not all of it requires you to be right with your child at all times. There's quite a bit on the email lessons that your child can do independently as long as they have access to the email because of the links that are in that email that take them to all the different areas of YouTube videos, me reading stories, uh, worksheets, and etc. So once you receive the email and you click to open it up, uh, one of the things you'll notice is that at the top of the screen, I also have the same email here in PDF format in case this Word format doesn't open up properly for you. Also attached are the fine arts lessons uh, from Ms. Espeseth for Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and ELL activities from Ms. Naden if uh, the student in class receives support from Ms. Naden. So walking yourself through the morning message, uh, of course all of the blue sentences that are or words that are underlined are links to different websites. I emphasize at the top that you don't have to do everything that's in this. The reason that the lesson plans are set up the way they are is they're set up to have the same routines as what the kids would do in class if we had school running. Um, so the expectation is that you don't have to do all of them, um, or even really any of them, but I also feel that a lot of what's in here the kids can do independently. Some of them they certainly need you to help with. So let's click on them as we go through. Uh, the short version or abbreviated version I always put at the top, and then the longer, more detailed version uh, below this. So let's go to the longer, more detailed version. So it'll say what the date is for the lesson, what day of school we're in out of 180 days. This happens to be 152 for Thursday, May 14th. Uh, for reading, kids can go into Raz Kids. Once they've opened the Raz Kids screen, they go to Kids Login. So there'll be a screen where they have to enter my name in, unless you've already bookmarked it. It's first name, last name, no spaces. They find their name on the screen and they click on that, put in their password which is division 17, div 17 and go there. And once they're there they go into their level up and start doing their reading of their book. I have created a separate YouTube video on how to use RAS Kids as well. So after morning reading, which is normally done in class as soon as the kids come in, often I have the kids at their desk and then we go on to things that I would have up on the TV monitor. Uh, in this case, we've got some eagle viewing. This first nest is of an eagle nest in Delta. You can see the two chicks are getting quite a bit bigger. There's usually a couple of different camera angles that can be looked at. There's also a second nest which is in White Rock. So after we've spent some time looking at the eagle nests and viewing them, we go to the morning message. And there's lots to click on and lots to do in the morning message. So there are arrows where all the date pieces are, so dates can be changed. Numbers can be changed. The day of school can be changed. So on. Tells us what the theme unit is. There's a bit of a morning message here that can be read. Usually I read it and then I have the kids read back. That's what we call echo reading. 
There's always a different way each week on how to say good morning. This is Ike Native. You can click on the speaker. That will take you to a web page where you can find out how to say it. There's a web page where you can click on it. Native. And we do our yesterday is, today is, tomorrow will be. We look at the weather now. We change the weather symbols. We look at the temperature. Change the season if we need to. Type of clothes you might be wearing on that day. And we talk about the math that's in here. I have a discussion about symmetry in this case. We review the five words for the week. Usually I read them, scramble up the order, get the kids to repeat them back and read them. Scrambled up sentence. Starts with a capital, ends with a period. Find the answer below. Canadian trivia. Click on Google for more information. Google Earth to click on to take you to a location. So that's morning message, lots to click on, lots to look at. Then there's the phonemic awareness. It'll tell you which questions to do and which lesson to go to. So again, clicking on that takes us to our website where you can locate those lessons. Find the lesson and do the lesson based on the instructions and phonemic awareness lessons are all verbally done. I put a little show and tell in here. Spelling lessons, again, there might be a video of a story being read on YouTube uh, and then there'll be the lessons for the, the class website. and to the website for where the lessons are. These are copied down, in this case, in their spelling workbook. For phonics, same thing, but obviously in the phonics workbook. A little bit of information for snack break, if it's around 9.30 or 10 o'clock by this time, assuming you started around 8.30 in the morning. Zoom meetings happen to be on Thursday. Library, obviously, we're doing something a little different. So again, a couple of YouTube stories that will be uh, read by Mr. C. Hi, it's Mr. C there, and right now I'm being joined by Raven. And Raven is often a character we find in First Nations stories. He's the trickster. He's a little bit of a storyteller as well. And Raven, the woman who married a bear. Uh, there'll be a link for... Miss Esposeth's arts education, that's up at the top, remember, so up here. Follow along. She may also have some links here and there. Lunchtime, just a few little links to things for lunch. In the afternoon, on this particular day, we would have gym, so again, I've made some links for different activities. Uh, Go Noodle's always a great one. With Go Noodle, there's lots of different activities you can do that involves movement. Awesome sauce! Dance, jog, wiggle, or shake to this stellar song! I wish I could dance, but I don't know how! Dance like this do, yeah! Dance like this do, yeah! Dance like this do, yeah! And then we get on to math. Uh, in this case, because we've run out of the math worksheets and the Duotang, you'll now have to go to my classroom website to find the math link. Again, there are usually PDFs or Word documents and instructions on which page to do. You may have to do these verbally. You may have to copy these out onto paper. Or you may have to print these out if you have a printer available. Then we get into theme units, depending on what the theme unit is. 
there may be, again, YouTube video links. Um, there may be worksheets. Uh, in this case, I've created a link to the worksheet on our web page, or they can then take the worksheet and make the illustrations based off of what they see here. And in some cases, I've even produced links. And then usually to end the day, there are different various activities. In this case, you can go to some coloring pages that I have on my website. You could use a word spinner. And that usually ends the day. So whether your child is working on a laptop to do something like the theme unit worksheets, or they're working on an iPad, or whether they're working at a desktop computer, or whether you're streaming your iPad through your Apple TV in order to view it on a larger screen. So when you get those daily emails, your child can click on those links and do a lot of the work independently, as they are used to doing that same work in class as part of the routines. So whether your child is working on a laptop to do something like the theme unit worksheets, or a draw and tell story, or if they're reading their story with an iPad on the couch, or working on a math game like Prodigy, or whether you're doing Go Noodle on the TV to get some exercise. So let your child run with it. Uh, let them be a bit more independent at accessing that email that's uh, the daily lessons and see what they can do. There's the possibility in the next few weeks that the Ministry of Education is going to move us into what they refer to as Stage 3. That could mean that some students will be going back to the school uh, on a voluntary basis by the parents. Uh, it might not be full days of school, it could only be part-time. Um, but if that does occur, I as a teacher will have to be back in the classroom, which means that any parents who are keeping their children at home and still doing on at-home learning, um, I will not be sending out the same kind of detailed emails. I just won't have time to do all of the recording um, for storybooks and theme units and, and videos, etc. That, that take quite a bit of time. It takes me pretty much a full week to create a full week's worth of lessons. Instead, what I'd be sending is a far more abbreviated, uh, shortened version of those lessons. And it's going to look like the chart here, which I'll show you in just a moment. So the lesson chart version is just a much more pared down, simplified version. Uh, at this point, if I'm back teaching, uh, I won't be able to spend all of the time creating videos of storybooks. Uh, so things are just much more pared down. So once again, reading, there's the Raz Kids link. There's the links to the Eagle cameras. Here's the link to the morning message, which would be on our website. The link to the phonemic awareness lessons. The spelling lessons, which would be on the website, but may not have a storybook to go with it. The link to the math pages, the math games. Go Noodle for Jim. Possibly, if Miss Espaseth is still creating music lessons, suggestions for center's time, the word spinner, link to the site words, link to other activities, just a much more pared down version with less instruction um, and with less personalized videos created by me for story reading or theme units, etc., etc. So just much more simplified, as I wouldn't have the time to create both the full lessons for at-home learning as well as be at school teaching. So I hope that this has helped to clarify more of what the daily lessons I email out each day involve, and hopefully we can get uh, your child working on them more independently, maybe completing more of those tasks. And I just want to add, too, I really appreciate the parents who have been sending me emails uh, that just describe what your child is doing 
or that might include photographs of what your child has done or little videos or scanned worksheets or photographs of worksheets. Any of that information that I'm collecting along with the data that comes from RAS Kids Reading and from Prodigy Math, I'm just throwing that into a digital file folder that I've created for each child and that will help me when it comes down to writing report cards in the next week or two. Thanks everybody and if you have any more questions just don't hesitate to email me. All right, take care.